All right, it's exactly two o'clock, and we've been joined by the panel. Yes. Welcome to the Ministry of Information and Civic Education with the Best Conference. I'm for telling all the panel and thank you, the gentlemen from all across the country. We can be live, particularly with your partner, then Times Square, South BC, AYV, all the local community radio stations there across the country. We don't need carry this press conference every week live. And I hope says that we get a wonderful Eid celebration. Now in January, by our today we get a very high powered, very distinguished panel. Uh, in the announcement, I think we say it will be packed and it will be rich. We get a very rich content for sharing with you today. But as usual, before we get to the panel itself, I want to just present some government news updates which happened in the past week. Just a few highlights. The Minister for Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, Timothy Musakaba, and the counterpart foreign minister at the Republic of Hungary, they signed one agreement between the two countries here. Inside the agreement, they salon the benefits the following 50 million euro for water supply project na in the streets. A quota of scholarship there for salon students that will meet the requirements. And Hungary will begin to give visa waiver for salon holders of diplomatic passports, among other things. So, I want to tell the minister plenty thank you for the good work we will continue to do for salon. The Minister of Finance, Ahmed Sheku Mangura from Tabani, they signed a 15 million euro agreement to the European Union on the EU United Nations Spotlight Initiative for every forfeit against sexual and gender based violence in Salo. Do I don't know about the Spotlight Initiative, one of the biggest initiatives in the island world, we don't defend for that in Salo. And for no qualify for that, Salon in there for do a lot of things for demonstrate with seriousness. So we want for uh, continued respect. And so we don't sign a 15 million euro agreement uh, with the Ministry of Gender and we want to partner them across government to take part. Um, on the 9th of April, the government of Salon through the Ministry of Health they begin the recruitment of about 1,000 health personnel there into the civil service. According to the director of the HIMO, Mr. Joseph Sicilian, personnel here, they don't be volunteer for long term. And now we need time for incorporate as part of President Bill in agenda. President Bill this past Saturday be honored the uh, company. PC Agriculture Limited, number 10 village, Lokomasama, Chief Dog, Publoko, when they may do some massive harvesting of their mass. Inside the statements, the president say for invest in feed, salon, in agriculture, very important, not only contribute to food security, but it supports the president in big government agenda and encourage other people for Falamakata, the good work with PC. They don't do. Finally, through the public policy salon, citizens they don't be granted the opportunity to follow the secure the biometric uh, ID card. They don't, they don't extend the deadline. I mean, announced now, I say the deadline for let all man get the ID card for access to all government services. The deadline are the March, they don't push up. And now they don't decide to the pressure so much, all decide the line beaucoup. We don't ask that the government extend that deadline day now to the 28th of June. This is the final extension. So you need to always say, you know, who gets your ID card, it's between the back you see the citizen of this country, that you take this, for then you go, you go get your ID card. You are an international, possible to salute citizen in Guinea, you're supposed to get your ID card as well. 
One day we will take a for you every year. Who do we know so you do here? We try to do you do, and we also know what is the activities that we do inside the country. So if you are international, of course, you just allow you know what you are doing. Because you know, this is very important for you, just as important as well for the citizens. And without that ID card, you know, we get access to the basic service system. We states they provide bank and other. I mean, it's just about citizens. Now, now all we need is updating what we have today. Like I said, let's get back. But I also we can move now to the panel. First, let us introduce if the alleged when we get now we panel today. On the far right, I get the host is that the chief player, the very guy, Osao Deso. I know the landlord is still not paying yet, but he might be happy with you. Who they can go and see for that? But the man who can do such a big fantastic job, the minister for foreign affairs and international cooperation, the honourable Timothy Nsakaba, there. And next to Timothy Nsakaba, this man who is next to me, the comrade of the Oradikar Club, that the man who is doing a very good job in the civil service space, a man who really needs introduction as a whole, because I think when it comes to civil society contribution at this country and my way of setting self as a civil service. Mr. Ibrahim Tomeo, the Executive Director for the Center for Accountability and Rule of Law. There are many on the Foreign Affairs Conference side. On this side, we can talk about some very important issues that people don't call me and ask me for. On the far left, I'm a colleague in the cabinet. This man also just my colleague. I'm a uncle. I'm a papa and brother. I'm a both uncle. Who is so small? Me and uncle. Me and uncle no more is for calling a teacher. When they can see what I tell them, a teacher. They can lecture me back now today. But this is the minister for land and country planning. Now in the in fact, if you want to know a lot now. In the land of the country, and you're the land of the country. And then next to him, Doctor Tuga Senesi. Then next to Doctor Senesi, somebody we don't they do quiet, what they call quiet revolution, like this office we do. Administrative and Registrar General. So who be going to that office? But he wants anything for land, for government business, so he wants for lodger. He needs to go to this my office. And all the news we get is that she's been doing a fantastic job. In name, na Sapsu Sako ESU. I gladly forget the all I am. So, let me get this ball rolling. We we'll start with the Honorable Minister of Foreign Affairs. He just come out. But you can hire for talk about the cause of the leadership, the leadership of His Excellency President Julius Maradio. You don't attract one major international where you will lead for hosts as a lot is starting tomorrow. This is an opportunity for them to tell me what is this conflict, why this conflict. Which make it important for Salon and which it is shown as part of Salon leadership, leadership we can provide for we as we make Salon for your affairs. Over to you, Mr. Minister. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Minister General Barr and uh, colleague panelists and uh, distinguished journalists, uh, the fellow Salon people. Uh, I great honor for the here today for talk on. Uh, the activities of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Government of Sierra Leone, especially with respect to the uh, Autonomous Weapons System uh, conference way with the host of this country on the 17th, tomorrow to the 18th. Uh, but like the Minister of Information said, uh, Sierra Leone, despite the size of the economy, or the size of the geography, or who that will be, but the country today under the leadership of His Excellency the President, um, alone ensures that Sierra Leone is well placed internationally 
or take international leadership. We all know, say, last year, Salon we get for the elected, then we get for elected Sierra Leone, now the United Nations Security Council, a non permanent category, a seat will take from the 1st of January. At a very difficult time in the world, when the world is faced with numerous conflicts and other challenges, and such as climate change, inequality, and all of those. And as if that was not enough, under the leadership of His Excellency President Joseph Manabio, in February this year again, Sierra Leone being get for then they get for overwhelmingly elect Sierra Leone for Sedona the Peace and Security Council of the African Union. Which means Sierra Leone they provide leadership in the world's most premium uh, council where they determine global peace and security and the UN Security Council. And also like the Continental Council where responsible for Africa's peace and security. All of these a test, a, a testament says His Excellency the President don't position Sierra Leone as a global leader. Every day we see Salon at the Security Council, they articulate important global issues. It's based on Sierra Leone's own personal experience as a country where don't pass through conflict and international role in bringing peace and security to the continent, to the sub-region, and to the world that we decide under the instruction of the President to take on this challenge for bringing this international conference at ECOWAS ministerial level for solicit, engage, and come up with a political statement where they control what we call the autonomous weapon system. And the autonomous weapon system are a threat to the world. And so we decided to say that we rally, like other regions they don't do, in February last year, uh, Latin America and the Caribbean countries that we hold a conference where they say they find a regulatory instrument where for regulates autonomous uh, weapon system for the ethical, uh, legal, and security implications of these weapons in the world. So that's the conference that is going to be held. We will hold a free time from tomorrow to next tomorrow where they bring ministers of foreign affairs of ECOWAS countries, people where they deal with security, ministers of defense, and also they bring experts there in military technology and AI. So that's the conference that is going to be held with tomorrow and next tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you very much, Honorable Minister. This is now a man of brief but impactful words. Um, Mr. Chairman, this conference, part of what I admire, the planning of this conference, is that what state then they work really closely with the same society when they work together. So I want to ask you from the civil society perspective, why is conference important? Talk to a little bit about autonomous weapons, then we understand that the minister will be looking for talk about that. But why are they important and why is it important for make UNA from the civil society perspective work with government? This guy expects to be constantly force, but also on the substance, which not expect for getting out of this. Thank you very much, Mr. Ba, and I thank you uh, for the excellent work for the ministry for providing this really a huge platform way. I shall say, everybody in Asalon and even outside the country, they look forward to every day, provide regular updates of what the government is doing. This is what we talk about governance. People get to know what you're doing and hold. Um, State actors to account. Thank you very much for the opportunity. And I want for on behalf of Center for Computer and Law, um, say we're very proud of the partnership with the government of Sierra Leone for host this all important conference. It is massive for the country, but more importantly, it's massive for the collective effort for you know create a safe peaceful and secure world. The world, as we all know, there is some turbulence, some parts of the world at least. But we don't experience as alone with 11 years of war, don't tell you, say, we need to continuously lead the effort to make sure, say, anything we will create an unsafe and insecure world, we need to contribute, which is why we are absolutely proud of the partnership with the government but also the government and leadership for make sure that we bring the regional leaders, the ECOWAS regional leaders, and salon for discuss 
The peace and security aspect of autonomous weapons. Mr. Mr. Asu can talk a bit more in addition to it, Mr. Don say about autonomous weapons. So basically, let me um, reduce them to this. It's a movement, it's a campaign where they say they use or application of force, the decision for applied force, where they take human life, will not for left hand be machines. So it's how to most weapons. Now any machine, when what a man is pre program, they release them using algorithms. But say go now free term, go inside the issue of foreign affairs and build them. Where they now convert them not to the here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and take out any image where they go down put in the system. So that machine will come there in the form of the don't see. In fact, the precursor to what to call armed or leader of two more weapons, and other drones there. I of course talk about drones. We now even get to that point. It. Drones are just stage one. When we get to the we are safer than we head for, the world will be more chaotic and unsafe and insecure. So what we're basically saying is, for nuclear weapons and other weapons and even landmines, we don't develop treaties, there are conventions where they regulate the accumulation the, and use. For them, autonomous weapons, there is no regulation, no, I mean, the laws are there, but they're not developed, they're not very strong, there is no global treaty or convention that bind the accumulation and use of autonomous weapons. We the follow news to see what the US do, where Iran reportedly release um, um, some missiles. Yes, then go and send drones and capture people they reach. That perhaps you will see the positive use, right? But the reverse use day, we can make the world even more unsafe. So the problem is this. We, from an accountability point of view, if you now create machine, we go and take our lives. We, in fact, now we say from an ethical point of view, not to machine for make that decision for take life. We use, we want force of the under human control. Force of the under human control. But once you delegate that responsibility for decide as to who their life will take, who they for injure to machines, who they hold accountable. So from a pure accountability point of view, we the move for a global treaty, one big consensus for a global treaty of emergency, we regulate and we use our consumer to reconcile. And by the user, we don't hold to account. If we don't get that system, we will create impunity, or we will create a world of peace. How salon connect? How salon connect? First, we, um, we don't get a we read with history. It's not so recent, but we want for remember, say we get war now, yeah, and we lose um, at least fifty thousand people, many arms and limbs are chopped off. We want for continue learning from your own experience or send a clear message to the world that we they we are a peaceful country, but we also want to lead a campaign for ensure that the world is a peaceful place. The minister talked extensively about this Israeli rule at the global stage. We are now represented in the Security Council. And for that, geographically, a small country like we, it will bring all of West African leaders, but also experts from other parts of the world, for Kanitaya, or from Tumara, next Tumara, for basically develop a global community where they reflect the sovereign of the position on autonomous weapons. Salon so Yoru, that will help lead this conversation, contribute to the campaign, but also talk say we stand for peace as a country and we want to create a better and safer world for we people them. Thank you so much, Mr. Tony, and thanks to the Minister CC on the project call. And uh, hotel, uh, thank you for the leadership. And I ask that question on Salon Connect because I know it's not a question to ask. If I let you understand, say, the kind of minister says, Salon are important country in the world when it comes to their conversations on peace and security. We need at the highest level. We in an attack, we see at the news and CNN, we are ambassador to the UN. Then we need at the screen with the Security Council debates. 
This only happens every day. It only happens without the leadership who is Excellency President Jesus and that they don't provide and the respect who we consider against around the world. For let the world that you see this kind of big conversation here, for let the gangs that they can't salute, that because of the leadership, we, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, the President of Sex, obviously, and the team, our far colleagues, we get His Excellency the Ambassador, Naya, as well to Switzerland, Dr. Lance Bailey, who in our world, we don't know if they work on this. Uh, doctor, welcome and thank you for your good work. Now, long, long, can We don't come on autonomous weapon. We the kind of sound. We we'll start with the minister, minister, the lecturer, doctor, and teacher. So we can get ten minutes of lecture. Mr. So minister, um, first of all, the first thing is you don't come on this platform. So I charge you small more. But um, land is such a critical part of the identity, first of all. Not just an asset, an identity, and then an asset, a source of conflict, a source of peace, a source of revenue. Since you don't enter that ministry, this is an opportunity for them to talk to the people there about the major reform them who you don't put in place. And for just give an update on the land sector as well. Who's out there now? What do people there for expect? What do you think the state of play? Over to you, sir. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Ba. You know, when they call me, I want to know this platform, I want to know this platform, I say, hey, see you. If you go to platform, you start buying a platform, you don't get enough information, and talk without it. Because everybody not just about the land, land administration and management. I like to always remind people there, many a time, because they say, you quick, we don't forget. I can let for remind people there was a lot of and we forget. I will do that quick. Before we take over in 2018, all man we decided to move abroad to land business be chaotic. Land by your house. You will see people in the fence, the pool, cut glass. You get land grabbers everywhere. Everything that is this particular western area. Of course, we go up land by the same thing. And you don't spread all over the country. You see? You also see say, there was this situation where the courts were overwhelmed with cases for falsification of documents. All man gets all kinds of documents. All over. So people have been fed one another. So 2018 to date, what we do is we come with some innovation and reforms. So then innovation and reforms and they all be don't come with me. More people get access to land. So what we do? We introduce the land raffle. That land raffle we introduce, but what people they they don't need for know anybody inside government, they get land. They don't get anybody for who not need to. They get land. Backlog of their applications and they also we don't have people that don't apply years by they don't get land, then say we begin looking to run, we begin the land out. And some the day again, in some other occasion, which will look again. We we'll get what we we'll refer to as opposive or purposeful allocation of land. We we'll do that also. People that they will be there like their judges, we don't serve so long for so long. So they're not gonna get one time lots. We we'll get the expired judges that we give the land. Then teachers then, we don't teach them in this country, they don't they give people like, their service. They don't get better salaries. They don't really buy land, we we'll begin them. Then no system, then the service country has them. They don't get better salary. Then we we'll begin them land. Then armed forces, the soldiers, the police, prison officers, then uh, fire force. Then we we'll begin them land. Then vulnerable them. So they didn't get their own small, small organizations then. But they don't really buy land. Then we we'll begin them we'll begin the land. So that the innovation that the will bring as a government will make sure that we attend to them and that we will not be able to forget access to land. We don't stop there. We can't see say again, people like they, especially with the way they know the diaspora, when they send their money for buying land, people like they eat their money that they all, they don't get the land. So we introduce with it, the affordable housing scheme. Today, South Global Africa is here. We got other institutions or organizations also with this scheme. We don't send the department now. We don't give the land, the department do housing. Why? Which make President Sim for going to that? 
And to make sure, say, you, the ordinary man, we don't make some effort. Let's get some decent service that you will see. So, again, so we don't they move at all of that. And again, when I go agree with me, say, people like they, when they maintain, they, they don't make lots of efforts. For if you go through the court system, it'll be difficult for them. We we'll begin to make sure, say, and back on conflict resolution. So from that thing to now, the land they hold on give more than any other government in the history of this country, a past man. To the point that I will now tell you in Bugawa alone, <coughs> we don't give land the 572 town lots, Bugawa alone, to the people of Sierra Leone. At the time, we don't give 400 town lots to the people of Sierra Leone. Bure town, we don't give people like this 764 town lots to Sierra Leoneans. The statistics say, so it give me a total of 4,182 town lots under the leadership of His Excellency President Bill. I know more people like this. It's just a little. When I go check records, it don't ever happen any other time. It's like any other regime. This government don't give the highest number of land to ordinary people where no one knows something. They don't love it. They don't go ask anything. Those are the sort of things where His Excellency President Bill will do to the people of this country. The innovation continue. Investigation, internal investigation, we make sure say we launch them. They want the way they forge documents there. They want the way they make like saying nah, that they no more get say <laughs> Freetown in particular. What we do? We make sure say we put a system together for the look into their cases inside the village. I will tell you say today, we get number of cases we don't want And that number of cases a day, I will also show to the people of Sierra. We tell what we do. Look what they are so. People are already forge documents. Take like Kent, uh, Kent Junction, 11 acres, hmm? 210 land documents. A fake. A fake. Look at the park soon as well. I can show you some example. Okay? You see, say, that LS nobody, now from different property, now different location. The person go take and then they go to the photocopy, then they got put up by other survey plan, then they bring them for work. And that case and the owner, they are about every now and then. Hey, man, I'm here in the minister's head. They tell lies. They need a grief for waiting call. They need a signed document. How they signed documents? So already that document is fake. I don't want to prove them. Because when I go and they come now part and parcel of the crime. So now they'll get into trouble. When people are in the ground, they call. Look at this, so okay. Hmm? 200 acres of land. Somebody they claim on the document with an LS 1254 of 1990. A fake. They're all the desire to. I mean, they are bringing them for put them under the camera. The names of them, one that we don't do, they ask a day. All they are. So when people pass all over this country, hey, now so to write, they do. Madam, you listen, you know, uh, minister, so, no? They are pointing to for all make sure they will do the right thing. Now they all pass all over. Hmm? Look at, I've been like that today. Look at the document they pack here. The other one, they don't pack now, so inside the box. Look at back now, this week, the box. We are going to publish them. For the people that don't say no. The two of the heart, when people have been hey, but now see they don't happen. So because people have done the thief in 1952, we will continue to make sure they the thief. <laughs> no, we can't. So there has to be a stop. So these are just some of the examples in terms of uh, the innovation we don't break up. The investigation is ongoing, uh, and we buy all of this here and then the ministry. So, but the minister, a very deliberate, he talks about the reforms. And I don't think that in a new interest, but they see no more where that's small. But when we get interest, then they are on our bridges now. We will go. I will make one put on the camera so that we can get up with the people of Sierra Leone. But not go to the reforms. Not take the legal reforms. As the government will do, we will not enact the National Land Commission Act of 2022. This law, what is it for? It don't help for law we establish the National Land Commission. That National Land Commission, it can help you for manage eh, land business in this country as well. Currently. We don't put the management uh, structure in place. Eh? We don't begin to recruitment. We don't establish office and return. We don't go into their recruitment and they make sure say we do so many things. Right? Now, they would also come with another reform where you see technology not the failure. But look why I come. We're not going to see all our operators. The Customer Land Rights Act 2022. Instead, we don't bring a What's make we bring a We want to promote and protect the customary land rights and that of responsible investment in Sierra Leone. Now that's what we do. But guess what? If you want bring this down, and I'm glad it's never this platform, because if I know they talk to ourselves as Sierra Leoneans, we come with the law for making people get ownership 
especially the one that the provinces. So when they get that ownership, they are able to promote and support investment, but guess what? It's not happen. People that want to do agriculture, we don't flash program. Now people they don't ask for the land, price list rents now the provinces. I see that land they don't become hospital. I see that they don't put that land in school, they don't pay school fees for it. So now guess what is happening? Within a short time, I don't go around the country. Some investors are don't back out. The land they did, now the state get the land, or people don't know that. What do make a sovereign state? Now the land. Now in the Kenyan country, a sovereign state. Those lands are in the custody of our primary chiefs. They are. And they will have land holding families then when are caretakers. But over the years, we've not been able to review that and revisit that. So now it has become now personal property. So Timo for use to make sure they bring benefit to the people of Sierra Leone. Now no, people don't monopolize that to the point that what do they do now? And they ask for money. Where no money is in their life. The investors are way back. They are the cultural one for promote. Currently, I will tell all Sierra Leone, we are now having a challenge. Take the road from Freetown to Pujam. Take the road from here to Kailam. And you look at both ends of the road, you see the fast land with it all. Not used. Not put it to use. No sooner, my brother, when I lawyer, if it's for place, just say I want to put 400 acres plantation cash crop. The land holding family will ask them for money if we're not the same. Wait, no, can I come for again? And cash crop production and capital intensive. It will take you four or five years before you begin with the first harvest. Then somebody can ask you for money for land. So that is happening currently. So we brought a law to make sure that people get control over their land. But guess what? They don't even come the cause. So we have to review that again with time. And this I will bring down to Sierraonians. That other analysis I will counter when the minister will invite me some other day. But in reform business, we are asking for that address that. Yeah? Right. So the National Land Commission Act regulations itself would not already come out and pass and through parliament. This is the one way they guide the implementation of the two laws there also. The National Land Commission Act and then the Customer Land Rights Act. So we don't come out to the regulations. Then we don't come out, uh, come out to the National Land Commission regulation of 2023, also the Customer Land Rights. There is somebody who want I. Now, is there an office and I go to do this? No. We begin to go around the country, get consultation, get the primary chiefs, and get also CSOs involvement, ordinary people also involved in this. So we don't come with reforms here, so all for support the implementation of the uh, Customer Land Rights Act and the National Land Commission. The legal reforms, they continue. Now, we don't also move to the point where we don't get some money for rock, then, uh, for make sure we enact some of their laws here. The Land Title Registration Act, the Land Title Adjudication Act, the Public Lands Act, the State Lands Act, the New Survey Act and Rules, the New Town and Country Planning Act. Yes. For me, colonial people are left wing. Eh? And make it a scene now when you go some side there. Because the laws are so old, you will see four or five strong and story building. It's mad. They all of a sudden can't see one small pan body in the It don't deface the entire outlook of the community. You go some side there, you go meet the road, they go so by see somebody caught up in the middle of the city, and you get this land. The entire community don't depend. So we are now going to review all of this and make sure that it meets the daily uh, demands of the society. By the August of this year, because they all now we think so we will conclude this. They will begin to look at what is there. And it comes to your implications. And we should press up for that. Hmm? Especially for the Western area. All land where they belong within the Western area, they belong to the states. That's the crown colony. Now the states, now if they give that land out to you before it become your private property. So at a point in time, when the government thinks, say yes, for planning purpose, this also for broker. So that we will pass it now, so, so that if fire for long over and that, we will go reach there for how that fire day, government will take that decision. And when government take that decision, the only two government is not for compensate you. And so they lost it. And so they lost it. So we have a place up for that. Hmm? So when we come with development and reform, we have a place up for that. So this is it. So now, we also don't introduce hmm, the digital platform. That digital platform we don't introduce at the Ministry of Lands. Now for help in terms of the turnaround time. <coughs> so that one day, now you now I want for also see how we will show with them. Now in this, 
Okay? Now, when you look at this digital platform, every tool they do not have the ministry in our online. It's got the way they talk, say, hey, my document don't lost. Hey, Pastor Reed don't say, don't go, and the minister not sign. No, you're not at home. You use your telephone. You for able to know the desk whose side you document it. If you didn't have the director of service in, in, in desk, you didn't know from the platform. You will not apply. Me, when I'm the minister, this is me on desk. Eh? These are the daily signs at the wall now, and the wall directly. And the service that you, you are on the website. This is uh, the app dot mm -hmm. m-o-l-h-c-p dot g-o-v dot s-l You will go direct. So if you want to apply for land, it's yes, SRO. You don't need it for waiting at the Ministry of Lands. H-c-p H-c-p, what's that name? Ministry of Lands, I was going to call it Okay. Does government of Sierra Leone, GOP.SF. Okay. Perfect. So, you want to apply for land. You don't need for no minister. Well, let me hey, minister, I go talk to you, call it a uh, rural for land, no? You don't need for no sanctuary. You. you just go at the platform, you apply. And the cancer is system. I will be able to sign at the wall. I didn't know. So, correct me, what's the last one? I know, sir, there are five documents on the desk. Right. But now. No, you don't care, David. No, you didn't have your last one. I will show you this one. <laughs> I will show you this not telling you. So, if you want to know, uh, Mr. Baron talks if you don't apply, if you want to know, who said that he documented it? What I will do? I just go at the application indicator. Why don't go in? It will show me exactly. Ah, the internet is having problems here. Right. No, don't worry. I will get about this one. I will use the phone record. Hmm? I will ask water. If you don't ask water, it will it will speak. You get a Yes. That's what we pay. Sorry about that. <laughs> this thing is interesting, you know. Now, this is like some of the things that we will do. We, with the past, people that they think say, we're not doing anything. Hmm? They tell me, say, don't connect. Look at me. I don't know. Come here. What did they get you? Disconnect. They lost the back if you don't connect. Money gave me. Uh, the network <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think so you know, that's my brother. Let's give me problems. Ah, uh, orange. Can you walk away? Uh, my orange. Uh, orange. Uh, orange. Uh, orange. Uh, orange. Uh, orange. 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 If you didn't have the finance office, you didn't know. If you didn't have the DSS of DSS office, you know. But the good, the good thing about that for me as a minister is that if the work delay, I didn't know who said exactly the call of Why this don't take like platform? If it takes two hours, I didn't know because they tell me why for this. So these are the things that we do. So now you go do your application for land lease online. You will do your freehold online. You will do your construction permit or building permit online. You can pay your survey bills online. Your planning permits online. You can do your regularization online. Or without going to the ministry anymore. Now, even if you go out to the ministry, the only place that is Congo markets. When I'm from downstairs, stay go to the office. You will see people enter line. When you go in, you work free because we don't use technology to correct all of the things. And they also give us another opportunity for verification of documents. So that is what we are doing here. As okay, a minister. Yeah. I think you know. Yeah, well, the, the people want to know what are the benefits in all of this. Because the Alunia are so fast. And we don't go like this. Two more minutes. Two more. Yeah. Two more. yeah. Yes. Well, in all of them, reforms there and innovations there. Look, 2017. From that day, whatever they were called, 2017. Eh? What they were raised right around the year, annual. Hmm? Revenue generated in the ministry was about 600 million. I never get the ministry. 500, 400, 600. Now, land sales from all over last year, 2023 to now, 34 billion. Because of their innovation, they are working. They are still, both in Kenya and Hawaii, they are not selling sell land. They are not selling land. This one here, they are directly to the consolidated fund. It is three friends. We are going to use this one to acquire another land between Bo and Kenya and do another gas deal. We will start now the two regions. Management will become effective and efficient. They will come down on cost in terms of administrative, I mean, management of the two gas <laughs> But now, that number will not do no more. 
We have over 4 billion in the account. We do claim. We don't start the process. Hmm? Regularization free will penalties, etc. This year, no more. January to now. We have over 5 billion. Sorry, the whole year, then they run the Ministry of Land, you will get 500,000, 500 million or 600 million. Now we are making progress. Now, only presidents, view their appointees, the instructor will be here, and do that kind of job there for the people of Sierra Leone. I will continue to do this in the interest of Sierra Leone and not individual. So land grab as it's not the way we will lose you because now people of Sierra Leone are now the focus of. Thank you very much. And well, I tell you, I say, I lecture, I hope to so. I tell you, I say, this minister, when you come, even within a cabinet, when they talk about the issue we need to manage, is tall. He know what he talk about. And I think, Mr. Minister, I want to share with you, say, when we go CSW, we talk about reforms there, somebody from, I think, our country, Ireland, I say, one thing we need to do, that the land said your reform and all, I'm very proud to say, actually, madam, we don't need way ahead of you. We don't do all the reform there we talk about, more progressive than what you may ask about. We don't do regulations, we don't set up commissions, the, the, the transformation in the land sector, family, not to theory, they are tangible, they are huge, and really transformational. And on behalf of the people of Salo, I want to tell the minister thank you, and tell the president thank you, when I insert the vision, and I insert as well the behind the staff who you get at the ministry, I see my sister Denaya, Madam Phyllis Common, who is the deputy minister, for lands and the charge of this day can because the minister there will can support the minister. I also want to acknowledge say we get his excellency ambassador Sule Dayami uh the day we uh he said he said you minister can so we can can support the minister there. Well I can out to the pandemic uh then he said by day I find out uh, last uh, couple of weeks ago we the celebrates uh Madam Satsu on all this automation, digitalization, the land process not complete if people not go work civilly. All this verification, all back is, ah, it is work civilly, you don't register work I want to give you a few, probably maybe five, six minutes. Start for telling me waiting at the Office of Administrative um, Register General. What do they do? And you don't reform them who you don't introduce at this place. It's the importance of oxidity inside this land equation. And then I will come over to that. Very good afternoon and thank you very much, Honorable Minister, for giving me this platform. And because if we hope to trust the Minister of Finance for the finance people, get them and be thrown there, it can be difficult because it entails a lot of money. We get one request, request. This time is the first time I'm trying to be on this platform, and I'm very, very much happy, and I want to say I appreciate you, but um, the Office of the Administrator and Register General. Now, fusion of two, the Administrator and Register General. Before, for 255, it's the Register General. For the fusion and the addition of 256 and the um, 207 and Act on the 207, the uh, Administration of Estate Act, then blend the two for mainly the Administrator and Registrar General. Because the office not the only deal with land matters, the office gets six division under the unit. We they deal with conveyances, we under the conveyance we get leases, mortgages, we get agreement, we get power patronage, so proprietorship, partnership, people. Then uh, you get um, the business registration unit, you get a marriage unit, you get the intellectual property division, you also get the gratuity division where they deal with debt benefits, the estate department in the deal with the people that will die without, with an order to win. So in a nutshell, I get six divisions under the unit, but the core one, where people, where make the office their name, not the land registry. Okay, 
the land registry, I took, um, since I was called to the bar in 2012, now I'm in a 12 years call, I pay myself now the office where I move, so currently, that they are served me, me, me people in. So I know the office to me I will say I go primary school, nursery, primary, secondary, and university, I graduate at the institution. So before I assume the power, I don't see the problem. Before I assume the position, I don't identify the problems there. If you are not again, I eye for the seat. So, it will be very simple for me. And testament to that, I get my senior colleague and controversial colleague, where we attest the things they were can say now. Yeah. Correct, when I'm Mr. Uh, Tommy, yes. <laughs> very controversial. <laughs> Way white, they say white. I merit an institution structurally within the zoo. I know it's an institution where they get structure, and then they try to discredit the predecessor. There was nothing to write home about. So, I began to deal with administrative reforms and structural reforms. If um, some post people are going to at this office some 15 years back, you go there now. You go no see what you are talking about here. And then they make any story that testament is not true. Why are they at that office as people? Office of the Administrator of Research, and anybody can walk in and do whatever thing they like. The registry, where we all the CISO now today, I get an archive, where I create a whole archive, when I'm out of bounds to the general public. Before this time, when you go to the, the office, the, the documents they cluster with staff, over 15 or 20 staff, then I will really store the documents there. When I take up office, I see a recipe for chaos. I say, no, this is not going to be. I need for great space where I will keep the records there and get them out of sight to the ordinary person. Because before this time, we get lots and lots of land issues. Where, now through my office, I can attest to that. Through my office, with the help of the Ministry of Lands. Because I can say, first you know the work, now the institution, you know they are delivery for working, now the institution. But with the help of uh, uh, Dr. Tuarts and they say, and this is where they are so the reforms they were they make, I think say, and they do the reforms and notify <coughs> the Ministry of Land say, this is what we should do to ensure, say, we map out people there where they stand for, make them falsify documents. And the institution, the, the most uh, difficult thing about the institution, I don't work in isolation, I work with other partners. I they work with the NRA, National Revenue Authority. I work with the Ministry of Lands. Me working with the Ministry of Lands, it's a law. The law states say, when they don't deposit documents in the Ministry of Lands, the surveyor don't sign them, they, at the end of it all, that's away all things don't know he and to his solicitor for draft the conveyance. So when they don't finish for draft the conveyance, they compare them in the office. <coughs> The bell can and office, I get the steps and processes that when we put in place before now, anybody can go documents, backdated documents, and falsify documents. So I said to the minister, um, okay, we will get this return in hard copies. But can we do a system where we were able for the stick to each other? So we introduced a drop box system where if you, you drop um, uh, the, the, the survey plan with the LS, I suppose for this year, now I'm in machine. So I'm not going to rely on the hard copy, what it is sent to me. So the system for the speech to each other. So we do that one day um, together. So I think then I'm in office, then they don't send it on, because that is one issue now, a whole lot of a problem for me. Because I'm telling you, they send documents, they tell me, they go tell you, say, the client say, you don't even say we are the Registrar General. I don't know who's, I don't know the last one, don't know But believe you me, if you go to the office, I don't go get her. Because what you do, the law permits me for wait for let the Ministry of Health to remit the returns for me. Then it will be powerful as sign. So I will get powerful sign, even if you don't deposit an the office. So I can check now the system. If the, the LS way uh, say don't give it, it no not give I, I, I introduced a system where I would say the LS is not found. Can you please revert? Go back to the Ministry of Lands and tell them, say, the LS where they quote, in not gain an institution. Let them, let them come back to me 
with an evidence attached. The evidence why they talk for leg attached, now for the fact that the Ministry of Land don't clarify, they will go back to the drawing board and try to put you in their back. For say this person, a mommy camera, and I get this land, Najiba. Another situation working camp. So I said, I name a mommy camera, you the property, they do back. When you can check now the system, it will get the LS. But not only in the middle, if we did this at Tusa, but then the property will form a meeting. And at the Ministry of Act say, no, I'm not going to go for sign the documents. These documents, the information only the Ministry of Land said, we're waiting there and the returns is different. So do we are go back to the Ministry of Land, then they say, I'll wait for the correct information for announcing no sign there. So those are the major problems we will get. Where people are out there, nobody understands. So today they say, you know, stone and rock city building, the Mr. General, not a sign up. So I'm even the license, the Mr. General, I don't tell who it is out of the country, the Mr. General out of the country. I'm going to ask you that deal. They say, what you know, the. Yes. That's what they say. They say, don't go so. That's what we depend. Yeah, they say, don't go. The Mr. General out of the country, not in any way, stall the process in the institution. But the fact of the matter is that I will take some responsibility of the signature. So what did I do? When I came initially, I introduced an IO cast seal, where my signature as a pen and published document at the CILA. And I get a local index book within me. There's an index book that you get this day up, where the index documents. But I said to them, no, that is for the office. But against me, you know, why the book is not yours? So for anything, if you want alter any documents that the index up, if they come to me, you know, they will see all the data things that they do so now. Thank you very, very much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you will get another chance for for continue, but uh, uh, I want for give chance. I think we the audience here they get they want to ask for a follow up questions. Before they do that, day, I just want to tell you thank you again. I think as a feminist man, I want to say I'm very proud of the work we don't do. Uh, yeah, and as the administrator and register general, I don't talk about right now, and I want to commend you for the reform. Yeah. You know, Dr. Turan said that if he say we are going to do nothing, so we will let him say we will only this country. You know, I keep I say some man he say look, some of us spend our entire life in fifth post alone for letting things better. So you think since I don't become government minister now overnight? Me pray the sick cannot change now. I don't know more now. Let me not say no. All let it be. We all the time we very best. We put in the best. Yes, challenges remain. But we lie. The people who are not in government, as we well see with the public servants here, we are they are fighting. We do the best for make this country a better place. As usual, I want to ask the question that will come online. So I start with Nanaya. Then I come back to this side, and then I pass over to him. Okay, so let me. What I can do normally, um, on our own kind of platform, I ask all the questions like, together, including the one they will answer all day. Not to follow on, follow on answer the one they do. I follow the people that we ask next week, like we get them ask back because if not the question, they already ask. They never ask again. So I they ask them all together. They are given about one minute. Let me talk to them. Yeah. Um, the civil the stance of we country on this use of autonomous weapon system within the ECOWAS region, we stand, Mr. Minister, Senator, for you. How we country plan for contributes to regional efforts for regulate and control development and deployment of autonomous weapons? I don't answer this, but still, still. Somebody else say, whose measure will it take for a short transparency and accountability in the use of autonomous weapons by member states? So when you say how civil society view the ECOWAS conference, I need you answer this number if you want to how we constantly will collaborate with other ECOWAS nations and for address the ethical and humanitarian implications of autonomous weapons, whose strategy they will implement for ensure say land reform, okay, this is not land, we don't put on our own, the team don't put this on the own section. The other one is in what ways will civil society organization will contribute for the regulation of autonomous weapons, and then how now we collaborate with governments and international organizations and for advocates for this autonomous weapons system, and what kind of recommendations civil society gets for policy makers and decision makers in doing this critical discussion. Normally I live on two minutes each, 
Lord, I just say, Spoke to them and in the general, and then we will come to the audience. I'll start with your own sir. Thank you, and, and thanks for the one that we sent the questions. I mean, it shows say people are very interested in understanding implications, uh, moral and uh, ethical implications of the uncontrolled use of uh, lethal um, autonomous weapons. And of course, the, the essence of this particular conference, now for Able Ghana political uh, support uh, at the sovereign level, but in the mean, at the end of the day, there's going to be a communicate with the political leadership of ECOWAS, therefore agree on, and that's communicate with um, other political statements and we and, and communicates we don't come from different uh, regions of the world. All of these can culminate for form what we call uh, the, the treaty on the regulation of um, autonomous weapon system. So this now the feeder um, like um, political mobilization, uh, over 90 countries in the world are uh, in support of this regulation. In fact, let me quote uh, Robert in the words of the UN Secretary General. They say the use of autonomous weapon they say the unethical and politically unacceptable. It is so because we see um, countries um, they use these autonomous weapons, and now. Let me call it say, we want to say, we are at not so advanced stage right now, but we are taking preemptive regulatory measures to make sure, say, by the time we are going to deploy artificial intelligence in this autonomous weapon system, where you know, we will get the opportunity again for controlling, it will pose enormous danger to the peace and security of the world. Imagine uh, a weapon where in the program on data in order to get the ability for able to recognize or even sympathize or take accountability for you know the 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 the, the hard work they will cause. So of course we want effort now to mobilize political support at ECOWAS level. Then we move with that political support to the global level and possibly the United Nations. In fact, what we can see this particular ECOWAS conference now uh, a conference in Geneva where they will deal uh, with the, the world's efforts in regulating this autonomous weapon system. And so I, I think this is the start at William Region and the escalator. And we use the voices in the different multilateral spaces to get a global consensus where we bring about the regulation for regulate um, you know, autonomous uh, weapon system for the safety, security, uh, of the world and for make sure say uh, the human aspect of using force is made pronounced so that anytime when somebody uses force it will be within the context of the law and also will take responsibility and account and then be accountable for the use of said forces. Thank you, Mr. Thank, you. Thank you so much. So um, we believe say a civil society gets a room for Hold government governance processes to account for ensure transparency. But we also believe that we get a big role. We get a big role for contribute to policy discussions and law making. So we your role in this now this conference. Not only that we help government for coordinating logistics, but we also get for day in the room, and that's massive for us. We don't invite civil society leaders. Obviously, we don't go to, we don't go to invite everybody. If anybody are we you not know, get invitation, we go make sure say after the conference we create a forum where we can provide some feedback loop, and in the course of the conference get una comments and make sure to a contribute to the debate. So that's what we're doing. But the point about accountability is really important because as I said earlier on, we want to make sure say if you take life, you will take that life, whether or not a state actor or non-state actor, take that life, make a whole arm to account. Right now, with the use of autonomous weapons, it's difficult for a hold 
brought into account and it will create a world where not peaceful and accountable. Now, somebody asked about recommendations. Going forward with your recommendation, first with the all state actors, starting with the government of Salon, but perhaps, let me say this, it's really the big states, the big country then, right? Now then, we, we, we first start with Now we all focus on creating a safer and more peaceful world. Now we want them focus on that one first. Now when you focus on that, it's easy to understand why we need to mobilize our efforts and get a consensus on a retreat for regulate or govern the use of autonomous weapons. Now we continue for engage, and this is my recommendations now, we need to continue this engagement with an open mind and really we need to demonstrate a genuine commitment to this cause because what we are doing is really to make sure that we create a peaceful world. We need resources. We are pleased that the government of Sierra Leone don't provide this uh, um, platform and don't provide um, the required resources, including, of course, even this place will get the platform for make we get this conversation. But we also have our own the process. And we, um, um, not just government, citizens have to own the process. Because back to the research questions, how we connect as a country. We now a small power in terms of really when you compare it to other powers in the world. It then creates, and as it doesn't create, they don't move with that speed. If we don't take time, so we now we will be victims and we will respond because we not get the resources for respond in the way how they could not attack we. So we want to make sure that we own country is safe by ensuring that we will make on the mind with your safety and security, we stop and or we deal with it. That's another way we are connected. We need to provide leadership, and once more, the big powers need to really demonstrate genuine commitment, sincerity, for support this effort. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Tony. Um, now we get some questions there for Lance. We get plenty of questions as you can imagine. Uh, but I'm also pleased to say most of them, the minister don't really address them. Somebody say like provide detail on how we in the diaspora can buy a piece of land directly from the ministry. I think you don't take the answer the answer already. What are the key land reform initiatives that we will undertake? You don't answer that already. How will the land reform policies that we will undertake address the issues of land tenure security and access for marginalized communities? You don't really touch on that when you go on for that day. Whose mechanism that we don't put in place for streamline the land registration and tilting processes for making more accessible to citizens? How the land reform initiative that we don't undertake so far, they support sustainable land management practices and environmental conservation efforts? Whose strategy that they will implement for there we ensure the land reform benefits all citizens equitably and promote social and economic development in the world of other areas. I think so you already talk about that. This one is uh, a bit, this process is, I will inject authentic land document that duly signed by a predecessor, predecessor, he called the predecessor a name, but I will avoid for name, name, and all of which detailed records are in your archives and systems. And so you fail for sign. So they are like explaining to make it refuse when you get all the details. Then who strategies is really implement for ensuring land before benefit all citizens? I think this this question of for ensuring it benefits all man a repetitive theme we all money has because I think discrimination really happened last century. So Mr. Minister, in three minutes, then we have probably come to the audience. That's true. Uh, for the <coughs> uh, the diaspora people uh, that's So just apply it online and then you will record. Yes, I was that question did. I'll be Mr. Mean, Noah ask this question on political identity because part of the people there criticize often that we don't give land to power supporters. 
Amale yo ni sa. Papa so ko ta sa yi gbe ni ba le ni do land of. Hai de mudo. We don't know right across this corner, I mean, for the past two years. Right there. You have no rule apply, we put all inside drum, they turn and I insisted they take her. We take her, you plan a plus the right thing. So right there, you go We have not done that. We are not as in the gates. And there is one thing about the land rifle where people not, normally they take note of. When you talk about this country divide, this country divide, through the land rifle, you will get full of man, you will get in man, you will get in man, they are all in one particular community. So that integration will take place. So we are using the land raffle for bring peace in our communities. Eh? Social integration is taking place in those communities. Yeah, thank you. So anything they do, you know, when they don't know what we get we think around them. So then they, I mean, they, they need, like now you know, online. As we need the website system, as we they go systematically. So if we get 200 blood to take from number one to 200, we'll draw the line. They lose now don't have kids, they go to the archives, the record system. So nobody is being discriminated here. Right, okay. Uh, access to land, now I don't just address so. Land registration, I mean, when I hear this attribution, who shall they come out to who shall they? This story they talk say they refuse. People have to go there by go. They go forge documents and they cram go. There's an administrative of that's not prepared. When you not get beyond from a ministry, you don't say inside your system. You need a sign up. So that's the problem there. And if you go inside the system, look at the things that pack now. So somebody that will take somebody, where can land there now, and land now, 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 control it there, now, where it is. The LS number, where it is. You go quarter, you go do survey plan, you paste that down there. Then you bring a for land where it is at your local. Then all the inside are there, 200 acres. Then they are. <laughs> then that is your own uh, 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 title. Then you bring a now, you say, let me approve, let the DSL go sign up. I know one. They call an active man business job breaker to be so. You see, eh? so now the problem is not me. So now the people are really I'm working with the Ministry of Environment. The other question about the environment, we are collaborating. So that's why I'm not really called. All right. Yeah, thank you. All right, thank you. Now I'm at all. Let's see the hands slowly loose. Uh, when you take five together, you name and you question. You get a microphone here and also. And see at the start of the people who are not the table. Okay, and then we'll be fair. Number one, number two, number three, the lady with white. Uh, number four, the gentleman with Tima. And then number five, the comedian. Yes, you're number one. Let me give you my hold on. Please, no one preface. If you are new person, I want them. Now, only the only star that the show that they want to be panel. You will ask the question, you're not allowed to be a star. You can only ask your question. Go on. Thank you. Um, my name is Peter Kisu. Yes. Foreign Affairs. Um, I will ask about the token land issue with the minister mentioned. I know about this case and I'm interested. This possible grab 200 um, acres, let like me say, and creating an EO and it deploying civilian military forces. We did the harass people in the communities. We have five to handle that matter, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Number two, go up here. My question is John Kerry Mara. I will report for the big newspaper, City Voice newspaper, and the Aspar Focus magazine. My question is going to the Minister of Lands and also the Minister of Foreign Affairs. Just now, the Minister of Land said, what makes a sovereign state is the land. And now we have been losing our land to the Guinean people at Yenga, in which the Guinean people don't choke their flags and invade the land, and also don't declare war against Suleiman in particular about this day. So, what is our take on this week, sovereign integrity? We'll get our land back. Thank you. Thank you. Number three. <laughs> My question is that for the one them way, if you say they don't know how to go and apply for get phone when they are delay mandate, how they were able to do that in a so man don't know about computer or all other stuff they go through the process. Good how question. they were able to access this particular improvement here and how they will identify say yes, this particular document is an original document. Say yes, I don't get the land way. I 
Number four. Yes. We named uh, Mahmoud Sila from the nature of this people. Uh, Mr. Minister of uh, Lands, in your last comment, you said the collaborate with the Ministry of Environment. But me concern I am that uh, if you go now, my 13, Usai Guma facility, there has been a lot of encroachment. We asked uh, some of the people, let them tell you, say they get a, a document from Ministry of Lands. What do you talk about that? Thank you. Thank you very much. Number five, Afaya. Thank you very much. If I am for your standard terms. The question will go to or will be addressed by the two we talk on the autonomous weapon. This conference will look like somehow we should have the this conference at this point in time and we do with brother as a society to we talk about the security of the state and the vulnerability of Syria. And as this we get for nationals, for troops. We know even the outside, they don't grant my anger. Quite recently, some minister is giving my anger. We are just with some such people to come and be the anger. How should I know benefit from this conference in terms of the anger of Guinea soldiers? Then to the Minister of Grants, you see we have allocated 4,182 lots of lot of land to Australia and the country or at the Western area country. Areas we show, you know, see provinces. Is it that uh, we are not extending at provinces? It or my therefore can be no. Currently, the fight over state lands in the intensified at provinces. I believe we say the CEO says they come under attack. Or my lawyer, the lawyer back by CEO and could talk to the attacker. So they are pressured in the bill of up to now. So why you get for adjusting? Then, hey. okay. <laughs> In a new one, uh, yeah. <laughs> sorry, sir. I think so. Thank you. All right, we answer the question, and then we do another one. I think these are all very good questions. Um, which we could do now is start on the side because I don't have start on the side before. So we come to you, Mr. Minister. Mr. Minister, you get a few questions there. Uh, one uh, on Tokyo lands. This uh, gentleman one for the which you don't do. You see, they, they deploy military officials in the the gentleman asked about Yenga and say you mentioned land being sovereignty, waiting at the implications for waiting the corner Yenga as it relates to the we land uh, territory of integrity. The lady asked a brilliant question about uh, accessibility, waiting at the for people that were not either educated or they off grid, waiting we do and how we expect ordinary citizens uh, for verify authenticity, especially people that we know get the privilege for gets full education like we. And then on the mile 13 encroachments, it claims that people they get land, they get documents there for Ministry of Land. I don't need to some of that conversation and they but we need your perspective on that. And then the uh, fire question, now not a good one but now for clarify whether the four thousand plus land they will not allocate now just a western area and where the plants and different they also allocate beyond which you refer to as the old colony. Over to you, sir. Thank you. Uh, <clears> to <throat> okay, quickly. LS1254 stock 90. Hmm? That property falsified entry into the ministry's records. Hmm? Each and every page of the ministry. And it gets from 1, hmm, 20, the other page 21. Who's that? Stop. Eh? The first card. Go to some the ministers, ministry staff there, some they are in suspension now. Hmm? And the problem is what he gets. People they take office and they fail for take action. They are not blame and say, Madam Mammy, and me are free me. As long as I don't go, I think conviction is along the past law, I need freedom. Some of the ministry now start, they need suspension. Hmm? The civil service they handle it. Some of them, they know what they do. Who signed the record stop? Go inside there and wait, take 21. You don't forget to say 21, then another page. <laughs> then go enter a day. Then I give you post the document, the crime book. Then listen to this. LS1254 of 1990. Falsify entry to the ministry's records. 
1990. Property of Mayor Williams of George Brook Road. Hmm? That's the property, that number. Then the same LS number is used to claim 200 acres of land at Toke by one Mr. Slow. Hmm. You understand? Take another one. LS 2313 of 1976. Then they got to 2000 records and more. <laughs> In 1970, 1980, 1976. Listen to this again. The last license survey number in 1990, 1976 was LS2110. That was the last entry, 1976. Now, the LS number 2311 and above for 1976 does not exist. They do not exist. It is not in the record. Or somebody who put a vinyl record. They work out uh, for 200 acres. Then they use that for sale to other people. And now you want to uh, give authorization for sign that document? I won't do it. Wait for another minister. I'm sorry, but I can't. Yeah? So, so that is it for that. Hmm? Application for land. Inside the ministry, what you don't do also, if you go to the ministry of lands now, the book say they, you will not. So, sorry, you're in their rights. The gentleman is just to say this person don't deploy military forces and they they terrorize people there. No, that one is that is not that. The one you talk about you don't deploy military people. This is a land where governments may take. I don't want to mention a lot of names here. Government they don't take this from 19 MPRC days. That land was confiscated to the states. That man belonged there. You don't want it. So I'm picking and I don't grab now and I don't go talk to them the land. I don't take our rent, they are the distributor to the unions. <laughs> so that one is done, yeah? We don't already, we, in fact, it's distributor the distributor to the unions. If you go to Bobo, you the system don't block the road, then put my kids outside. Then people, the owner, and they move, I go put another land in, and then they turn the business off. So they congest the road so that you will enjoy They forget people that they can't be visit with as the unions, they see the same communities. I don't do the same thing in Waterloo. And they move them back. Yeah? So, land in the province is okay for application of non, the one they don't want If you go to the Ministry of Lands, there is a booth there. Hmm? The booth where they so you get three ladies there where they study. They all get laptops there, they get scanners, everything, then they're online. You go there, they help you for the application. We are doing the same thing in the provinces. So, you don't need for there, or you don't need for military forces for there, apply for that. We've already created a facility for that. Yeah? Verification of documents. You want for buy land? Can they verify? And now they begin these certificates. We they on, we they work on that. We and Satu and Satu we they collaborate. Can they verify you, the document? Let you know if you're authentic or not before you go buy. Otherwise, if you go buy, they have to say that other person in land will support the person they take in land. Because they call in a court. Oh, body. The way to get our system now they go produce a court. If you visit a state property, we take our guild as a lawyer and say. We cannot work any property. No, so. So I don't know. Go my family and land allocation, so I will address that one because I'm heading at the committee with President. <laughs> yeah. So you will attend to that one. Me not, yeah. please. Land in the provinces, we want to help with. Lord Cobland, Bradley, and I, they will get more money, put on the consolidated fund. They will take that money, we will go buy land at the provinces. It becomes state property. They will distribute that to ourselves. Because land in the provinces, the own, as I say, the chiefs there are in the hands of land holding families. Younger land is not foreign affairs business. You must not good. I'm sorry, thank you very much. <laughs> well, let's start to talk on this environment, then the Minister of Foreign Affairs. Because Yenga came up again last week a lot, so I'm really glad we're there. And I know see you in a man way prepared for such a Yeah, I just want the minister on that my issue with the President's office um, headed by the chief minister then, we said no now. Then um, the office, the head of conveyance unit will be part of the committee and it was headed by a senior lawyer, Ms. Amewa. Then we don't do everything and forward the recommendation to the then chief minister. So as it is, we don't know it's the status of that, but we do all what we can for submit reports and let them take uh, necessary action. All right, so may they commit now on behalf of Una, the journalists and the people of Salo for follow-up 
with the office of the chief minister on that recommendation of the other committee we do. And I promise to say in the next week or two when I get a response to Kanaya, we will get a response there. As I talk to members of the team, I hope somebody might write right now, I'm going to draft the, the follow-up memo once again, and look at the team member away at the room, so that that no can talk so see for another corona here. Mr. Minister, Yenga. Yes, um, the Minister of Lands, we are from the question, come on. <laughs> but anyways, we all work inside. Um, the Ministry of Internal Affairs and the Ministry of Internal Affairs are getting responsibility for internal security of the state and for oppression at the Ministry of Defense also, so, but for, for, for dealing with the diplomatic aspect of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. So you see there is synergy. We all work together to protect the sovereignty of the state and territorial integrity of the state. Of course, uh, under the instruction of the president, I can get for visit here and myself and take stock of the level of annexation. I take stock of the level of brazen, um, you know, uh, intrusion into the territorial integrity of Sierra Leone. I mean, it's fine for letting you get full information, listen to the people, see for yourself. So when we get into the diplomatic theater, we they talk out of experience and out of objects, um, you know, ideas all we don't get from the ground. Yes, this year that the numbers is let me just put it into context because uh, this not just begin yesterday. It don't begin back uh, since two thousand and two after the war end. In nineteen ninety eight we uh, we get um, the revolutionary united front um, representative go attack Guinea, getting through the Moa River. Um, the Guineans then become as part of ECOMOG for come help Sierra Leone for fight uh, you know, and prosecute the civil conflict. And so then the station, at that particular place, therefore prevents you know, the spillover of the conflict to so, uh, Guinea. And so after the war, Mr. Um, Gamande decided to stay, but the then president, uh, late president Ahmed Tijan Kabab, and the president of Liberia, and the ex-president Alpha Kone, as an accountant, they go to that place there in 2004. They had a symbolic handing over of Yenga to Sierra Leone. Since after 2004, the Guineans don't renege on the agreement. But this predates again, I mean, this goes back to 1912. In 1912, there was a communique between the British and the French colonial masters, where established the Yenga and the territory of Sierra Leone. This persistence in the Guineans for renege on all of these, um, you know, of this treaty and these other gentlemen agreements, and all should say Guinea has been acting not in good faith. But we don't really take the diplomatic means because, of course, the world today, we don't want conflicts. Guinea, by the circumference of Sierra Leone, they cover over 60% of the circumference. And there is intercultural, inter economic relationship between we and Guinea. Um, the same people that only did that in the old manner. So we're trying to intensify our diplomatic engagement with Guinea. Because first and foremost, we owe that for the people of this country. The existence of Sierra Leone is a measure of with territorial integrity and sovereignty. The president don't dispatch a special envoy right now where they Guinea, where they engage on that. But besides that, if we explore, exploit all other diplomatic means, we we'll know get then be ready for demilitarize and vacate the Sierra territory. Then we'll get many other means through multilateral measures for bringing this thing to an end. We can use Mandarin Reunion, we can use ECOWAS. So we don't recently accede to what they call the Yemen Convention on cross border conflict, where it give me uh, you know, a window for go to the ICJ International Criminal Court of Justice for arbitration. So many means that they Oh, we will bring this to an end. This one is a brazen aggression, brazen intrusion, and the president is not ready to tolerate uh, the, the continuance of the particular Guinean forces and the inside the Serenian territory. So all of our Togo engines, diplomatically and otherwise, have been charged for ensure say we free the people in the territory, protect the lives and properties of the people of this country. Talk about the Honorable Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation. I think so, you know, we get questions about here and there. We don't now say, Salon, do everything we can. We don't take concrete measures there to address this issue. 
I didn't realize we only get five more minutes, but I will do it here. I can normally do it now for us. If you get one in question, we will not address it. Yes. Now, question we will ask them. I remember you. Say what you like. So, if a one in question, we will not address it. Okay. Mr. Kanki, if I could for one, two, three hands, they are very quickly. Oh. Yes. Very much. I'm very sorry, Mr. Minister. That I just want to know how much transition relationship you get to the Ministry of Agriculture for make sure say the fix and all the way and one part of the five game changes and all subsidy. Thank you. Thank you. Go on, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, this. As we hear from the brother, we say, Bonnie. Bonnie, I think, say, if you don't take the time, ask the question, please. Uh, this is a good idea to Minister of Land, Dr. Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Of course, this is a issue. Anything we get advantage, we get disadvantage. Some of you, if you might be saying, hold up, they are still in one room. Boss, boss, boss. <laughs> Is there a question? Yeah, yeah. I don't want nobody back here. Ask the question. Um, Dr. Strasse, some of you are made from the Holy College. Yeah, yeah. You can't go back. This guy, you can't go back. I want to encourage you. Okay, Mr. Yeah. We are feeling for just leaving. It's <laughs> okay. Dr. Strasse, any other thing you have to do with Israelism? Okay, good. Okay. Thank you. Question to ask. Any other question? 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 Any other Meets for going to the Lafu. The land of the Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Minister, we are up now. So, this will be the final one. You answered the three questions again. Relationship with Minister of Agriculture. I don't want to wait to play with you to the Lafu. Again, any criteria there for the Lafu. And then I will give final one to the rest of the panel. Go ahead, Mr. Minister. Thank you so much. Relationship with Agriculture. Together with the Minister of Agriculture, they are working on the different forms. People will be able to access to land and culture. That one is something that is a community working with land. You know they play RAFU, not only RAFU, RAFU is one means of distributing land to people of Sierra Leone. You can as well apply to the portal and then we bring them down on the record, the record system. As land they are available, so they teach how to be good. Just well and apply. Anything for me, Mr. Tula, Dr. Teresi Mogoe? No, you're not for me. You don't need to be that at all. Criteria for the way, one, you have to make sure you're not a Sierra If you're not for residential, what they call. If you're not a foreigner, there are various documents that they the checklist list where you will make sure supporting documents where they attach to the application. Similarly, if also an ordinary Sierra Leonean, the supporting documents are there, the checklist is there, so you will get for use, then they attach it. Thank, Thank you very much, Mr. Minister. The website again is app.molhcp.gov.sl. If you are saying anything, go to that website. They take a look at all the informal things that we talk about and get the information. Madam, I'm to you final words. Any final thoughts? Please pass the mic to our Minister. Yes. Thank you very much to everybody. We don't make that possible for today. My office is 28 on Paul Street and open for everybody. If you want to do any land transaction, start from the Ministry of Land for verified and ascertain say you go say you go into transaction one or in combat, nobody don't know buy them. Then secondly, let you go to the office of the administrator and it's the general, let me say check for you whether any transaction not be going up with that particular property. Okay, for Sabina and we will continue. Thank, Thank you. you very much, the administrator and the general of the Republic of Sergio. Mr. Tommy. Give me details about this conference. Who said it take place? How many people? Who are welcome? Who are welcome? So um, tomorrow, our next conference starts now. The um, Free Town International Conference Center in Abidjan. Um, we expect to get about 120 
at least 120 delegates from, as I said, from the ECOWAS region and other parts of the world. Experts, speakers, government officials, civil society, and of course the media. Um, there will be an opening who will invite, I will invite um, journalists and for the live coverage. And then there will be a closing ceremony and a press conference. We will also invite journalists and for, for attend. Press conference and the closing, eh? Yes, after the, yes, after the so that um, the minister will talk about some political outcome, we communicate what they expect the West African leaders and to sign on to with Muguna details and entertain some questions from Muguna. We, as I said, this night campaign, it, it, you know, start here and you know, for continue here. But we enroll as civil society and we make sure to continue for lend voice to this, not just here in Sierra Leone, but beyond. So there will be meetings and we'll continue to accompany the process. Thank you very much. I encourage you now for taking interest in this and report to now. Um, I see the interest in land and in Nyenga. It's all good, but I tell you, get interest in autonomy. Safety okay. and security, more important than all of that. Thank, Thank you so you. much, sir. Uh, Ministry of Information and Civic Education, the Kokai, uh, the opening and closing ceremony. Live, so follow the page. And then, uh, Mr. Minister, just to fire away. Thank you very much. And you know, viewers do not see the nexus between civil society and government. And of course, you see um, government has to be, um, you know, participatory for that all um, you know aspect of society to be represented. And we work with SCAR, uh, a very reputable civil society organization, we really help with in the in the organization of this conference. And we believe say the outcome of this conference will remember Sierra Leone tomorrow when a treaty comes out on the regulation uh, of uh, autonomous weapons system. And it will remember, say, the efforts in West Africa started from Sierra Leone. And so you are all invited, and uh, controlling, and then... <laughs> control, <laughs> control the invitation. Thank you. Control the invitation. Thank you, Mr. But yes, but thank you very much, Mr. Information, for this opportunity. And we look forward to a successful conference. I hope we receive the ministers and minister of foreign affairs of Nigeria, Gambia, and others already don't come. This is going to be a very big conference. Thank you very much. Civil so society, wait. Bye bye. Ta ta to everybody. Civil <laughs> society, they're waiting to find the one we're now in. You see one, see one. Just last quickly, um, I, I just want to go back to waiting the ARD, uh, Madam Sakuta Sakobi talk about. I have been a lawyer for many years. I don't own one piece of land in this city. <laughs> it took me nearly six years for that to the final document. This was before her. Now, from where it's actually BARG, when I do papers, land papers on the clients, who oh, file, between the day to the, the day we file, three days of their backs from the office. If it's problematic, you know it's problematic. If it's not, it's sign. So you don't introduce some efficiency, we will really be back on the edge. Thank you. Really, really. Thank you, sir. So, thank you for your leadership. On that very happy note to my wings, I want to say a special thank you to my guest here, Dr. Turax and the Civil Minister of Lands, the Administrator and Register General, Madam Satu Sako, Mr. Ibrahim Kure, and the Honorable Minister for Foreign Affairs, Mr. Timothy Kaban. I'm going to take it to all the partners of the Cargo Live. I'm going to take it to one of the sponsors. Sierra Water will give you a time to Orange Salon, as well as the Ministry of Foreign Affairs with the host group, and all all the media partners there. Until we come again next week, we'll have the Independence Week of Salon. Assalamu alaikum.